My name is Sylvia Presley. I come from Poland. I studied and lived for nine years in Hungary and I'm based at the moment in the UK. So you volunteer for Global Voices, right? Yes. Why are you doing this? Well, I started volunteering after I moved away from Hungary and I read about the Budapest Summit. Um, checked the website and realized there's no, not much information about Poland, so I just thought there's a gap and I'll fill it out. So what did you do since then? I started the Lingua website, so we started translating all the articles appearing in English into Polish. So we're originally by we I mean my friends, people who just wanted to help me out to kick it off. And then increasingly the more we were translating, the more people were reading it and the more we've managed to reach out to translators based all around the world who speak Polish and English to help us out. I mean, just realizing that there is a gap somewhere doesn't necessarily mean you jump in, you know, and volunteer for it. There must be some other reasons. Huh? I am a character like that. I, I also had a feeling, I like uh, what Global Voices is trying to achieve. I think the, the image of various countries, including well-developed countries, is not necessarily uh, full and representing the wide range of stories coming from various countries. And I think this is what Global Voices is really good about. So let's say in case of Poland, I would uh, look at mainstream media and hear about events when they were happening, when they were critical, related to politics mainly, or economy. Whereas, you know, there's there so, so many other topics I would like to mention in, in the global sphere. Mm. I would like to know I would like let people understand what Polish culture is about, how people react to different events. So I think I was really, I like the notion of reporting on reactions to different events, which is something mm -hmm. mainstream media doesn't really have much time or resources to do. Mm -hmm. So the last four days were quite intense. Very intense. <laughs> what is your takeaway so far? It's quite amazing to see how Global Voices has developed in between the two last summits. That's my second summit I'm attending. I think we've grown from the balance between uh, English speaking and lingua sites has, has kind of evened up. Originally it was mainly articles written in English and a little bit of translation. The translation sites have grown. There are a lot of additional projects like Rising Voices, Technology for Transparency, Advocacy and Threatened Voices that are kind of digging into uh, specific areas of freedom of speech and delivering stories, citizen mm -hmm. journalists. I think we have, as we have more resources and more volunteers specializing in different areas and more ideas, we're trying, we're trying to work on those in a more organized way, mm -hmm. and I like that. So when you step a little bit apart from Global Voices now, uh, thinking about what your understanding of we is, not necessarily in the digital world, but, you know, as a, as a person, if what is you, your understanding of we and has it changed? If you ask me, it has crystallized, I think. Through the rise of the internet, yeah. It, Generally, thanks to the internet, I think I've managed to connect with people who have similar values, not only passions. I think first you connect with people who have similar interests, but ultimately the long-term relationships you establish through the internet, people you talk to and then meet them occasionally, are the people who are very similar to you in the way they commit, in the way they react to events. They don't agree, don't get, that's not the same as having the same opinion, but they have the same approach to life. They can be slightly activist, they can be more passive, mm. and so on and so on. So I think it, we, in a sense, is this global team of friends you know you can trust and rely upon. It's all about trust between people, people who have similar values. And, and it's represented and reflected in ultimately an offline meeting. So the summit is really good about that because we, we work for two years, we volunteer more or less, we get involved in various projects, our lives are changing and once we meet at the summit we reinforce the notion of yes we all have the same, we believe in the same values, we might be completely different, completely, completely different backgrounds, mm -hmm. have different opinions, very drastic opinions about the same events yet we have the same attitude towards life. And, and that, that, that works the same in many other areas of my life. In social media marketing, you have people who have different approach to it. 
in coffee, which is my hobby, you have different approach to, to, to coffee trade and so on and so on. So you kind of tend to connect because of, funnily enough, because of the amount of noise and information we have to process, we're becoming very careful how we build long-term relationships and where we invest time online, which leads to very valuable relationships. Thank you. Thank you. That's it.